Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how to calculate the percentage yield. To start off with then, you need to know the equation to calculate percentage yield, which is nice and simply, divide the actual yield by the theoretical yield and then multiply it by 100. Now when we talk about yields, we talk about the amount of product you get from a chemical reaction. The theoretical yield is the yield you should get from the reaction. In the past we've talked about this as the maximum mass. And then the actual yield is the actual amount of product you get from carrying out a chemical reaction, which is usually less than the theoretical yield, less than 100%. The percentage yield is a comparison between the two. So if we look at this in action, I have a question that says to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction where the actual yield was 10.3 grams and the theoretical yield was 31.2. So the question has given us both the actual yield and the theoretical yield. It's just a case of adding it to the equation. 10.3 is the actual yield, 31.2 is the theoretical yield. So 10.3 divided by 31.2, which is 0.3301, which we then multiply by 100, giving us an answer of 33.01% to two decimal places. Now that means that you only get 33% of what you theoretically should get. So that calculation is easy, right? And technically, yes, it is. However, it can be made more complicated when the examiner mixes in theoretical yield calculations with it. As I said earlier, that's the maximum mass calculations which you will have done before. So let's see a more complicated question. This states that in a chemical reaction, 25 kilograms of iron oxide was reduced to produce an actual yield of 8.4 kilograms of iron. Calculate the percentage yield for the reaction. You've also been given the balanced equation and the atomic masses. Now you can hopefully see that we've been given the actual yield, but no theoretical yield. We've got to work it out, and that's where this triangle comes in at the bottom left. So we've been given information on iron oxide, and we want to know the theoretical yield for iron. We have an initial mass of 25 kilograms for iron oxide, so we can add that in here. We can then work out the formula mass for iron oxide, which hopefully you remember is adding up all of the atomic masses. We have two ions, so two times 56, and three oxygens, so three times 16. So that's 112 for iron, 48 for oxygen, giving me a total formula mass of 160 for one of my iron oxides. However, from the balanced equation, you can see we have two iron oxides. So all we need to do is double this, giving me a formula mass of 320 for iron oxide. We can also work out the formula mass for our four ions, which is four times 56, coming out at 224. Now that I've put the information in that we know, we can work out the moles, which, as you can see from the triangle, is mass divided by formula mass. So iron oxide is 25 divided by 320, giving me 0.078125 moles. And because we took the balancing into account earlier on, we already know the moles for iron. It's the same, which is 0.078125. So all that's left to work out our theoretical mass is to times the moles by the formula mass. So 0.078125 times by 224, giving me a theoretical mass of 17.5 kilograms. Now, all that's left is to go back to our original equation. We have the actual yield, we have the theoretical yield. So we can put that into our percentage yield equation, 8.4 divided by 17.5, which we then multiply by 100, giving us an answer of 48%. And that's it. As I said, easy, right? Maybe not. I have gone through that really quickly because you have already covered it. But if you want more detail, if you want to remember how to work out the theoretical yield, the maximum mass, there's a video appearing in the top right of your screen now. Click on that before we move on to the questions. That really is everything you need to know for this video. Let's have a look at a few questions then. Have a read through these questions, pause the video and have a go. As soon as you're ready, press play and we'll go through. Okay, let's go through question one. Nice and simply, we have the actual yield of 32.4 grams and the theoretical yield of 37.9. So 32.4 divided by 37.9 multiplied by 100 gives us an answer of 85.5% for our full marks. On to question two. So it gives us the actual yield of 37 grams, but we haven't got a theoretical yield, so we've got to work it out. We've been given an initial mass of 20 grams for hydrogen, 
So we can work out the formula mass as well, which is two lots of two hydrogens, so four in total, giving us a formula mass of four. We can therefore work out the moles of hydrogen, which is 20 divided by four, which is five moles. We can then work out the formula mass for our two water molecules. So two times one for my hydrogen, one times 16 for my oxygen, giving water a formula mass of 18. I have got two of them, so two times 18 gives me 36 for my formula mass. My moles for water is the same as hydrogen, so five. Therefore, the theoretical yield for water is five times 36, which is 180. I can then take this and add it into my percentage yield equation. So 37, my actual mass, divided by 180, my theoretical yield, multiplied by 100, gives me a final percentage yield of 20.6% to one decimal place. I have got a review question for you, so have a read through, have a go, and let me know your answer in the comments, and I'll tell you if you're right. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.